one of the contexts will be in the case of burial. Here we've got uh, two uh, burial containers here associated with the Duomoiti. And uh, at the uh, end of uh, people's lives, uh, in the past, uh, people were buried three times. Uh, I can't go into uh, too much of detail because I'll be talking for about 24 hours. Uh, but uh, the whole along coffins were put for the third phase of the burial. The first phase of the burial was just burying the person immediately after they died. And at that uh, stage, the painting associated with their spirit home, the country from which they came, would have been painted on the deceased person's chest. Uh, then uh, the bones uh, were uh, excavated, probably some six months later, put into a bark coffin, which would be very similar to this, not quite as high, but made out of uh, bark that would be uh, curled round into a cylinder. And again, the paintings associated with the person's clan would be put on that. And then finally, the bones will be deposited in a hollow log coffin, maybe some six years or so after death. And at that moment, the bones are considered to be inert. The person's spirit has actually returned to the ancestral uh, dimension. And paintings are used as a way of con contacting the ancestral beings, in fact, almost making the person into a manifestation of those ancestral beings themselves. Because the paintings were uh, among the sacred endowment that was given to the clans by the ancestral beings who created uh, the landscape. And uh, the paintings, as well as representing uh, the land that was created by the ancestral beings are thought to be paintings that the ancestral beings handed on as a, 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 a sacred endowment and a charter associated with this place. Now, we have uh, something like five different places uh, represented in the paintings that we can see around us here. And I might begin with the mother's uh, 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 clans painting. So, uh, anybody who is out there, if they come and sit at the back there, otherwise you won't see what I'm talking about. And if people turn around uh, this way, and it doesn't really matter which of these I uh, focus on. Um, so, um, the uh, background pattern here is associated with wild honey, burkuda, and fire. And uh, the wild honey and fire uh, connected, the wild honey connected to paper bark uh, forests. Um, how does this represent that uh, ancestral uh, being? Well, the ancestral being, in fact, uh, in, in, the painting encodes all of those aspects associated with wild honey uh, in the paper bark swamps. It uh, represents the bees, it represents the honey, it represents the wet season floodwaters, it represents the uh, paperbark trees, uh, the hive that's in the paperbark trees, and the fire uh, that burns uh, the country. Um, you have to see it in terms of the seasonal cycle because the paperbark honey becomes ripe at the beginning of the dry season. So during the wet season, uh, uh, and uh, towards the end of the wet season when the, these particular trees are in flower, uh, then the honey uh, is uh, built in the honeycombs. Then the floodwaters subside. At that moment in time, Yolna will fire the country uh, to enable them to get access uh, to particular places, but also they see it as a form of renewal uh, and uh, you know, the young shoots of grass will come up and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, at that moment, you can then go and collect uh, the honey. Um, how does this represent uh, the wet season uh, floodwaters? Well, uh, this in the centre here uh, represents uh, the paper bark uh, tree uh, itself. Uh, you can see partly hollowed. Uh, and uh, these uh, patterns here represent the wet season floodwaters uh, going down uh, the creek. Um, the floodwaters, uh, the black, uh, represents uh, logs that are tossed around uh, in the, the floodwater. Uh, the white uh, represents the kind of white foam on the top of the, the floodwaters. Uh, and uh, where you have um, some of this uh, red and white uh, cross-hatching, it, it represents um, the uh, weeds 
uh, that are carried along uh, with the floodwaters. So you have the floodwaters here going uh, down uh, uh, the, the, 